everyone. This is lesson 14, first video. And here is our standard that we're working on for lesson 14, perform operations with multi-digit whole numbers and with decimals to the hundredths, and specifically multiplying decimals to the hundredths, using concrete models and drawings and strategies based on place value, properties of operations, and or relationship between addition and subtraction, relate to the strategy to a written method and explain the reasoning used. So that's why we're not just learning how to multiply, we're learning what it means, okay? And we have a puzzle in lesson 14 and the puzzle is what did the triangle say to the circle and at the end of video one you'll find out one part of the answer to that question so let's go ahead and get started um, you are going to need page 133 which looks like this so please tear it out so that you'll have it with you because today we are working on number lines, place value charts, and area models in multiplying decimals to the hundredths. Okay, so pause the video, tear that out. You can put it in a dry erase sheet if you want to because you're probably going to be using a few of these a few times and you will need them. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Our first question is... 4 times 3 tenths, 4 times 3 tenths. And we have a number line here that can help us. Look at this number line. It's pretty cool. I see 1 tenth, 2 tenths, 3 tenths, 4 tenths, and all the way up to 1 hole, and then all the way up to 2 holes. So this number line is broken into, you got it, tenths, yes. So we are showing... Um, three, oh, sorry, four times three tenths in a couple of different ways. We could think about four groups of three tenths, right? We can think about three tenths plus three tenths plus three tenths plus three tenths because repeated addition is the same as multiplication. We could think of four times as much as three tenths. And what would be the answer? Three, sorry, four times three tenths would be 12 tenths, right? Because 3 times 4 is 12. So let's go ahead and look at what we have under here. You can see one jump of 3 tenths is going to make us land on 3 tenths. So on your own number line, please draw that in now. And then one more jump of 3 tenths is going to make us land on 6 tenths. One more jump of 3 tenths is going to make us land on 9 tenths. And one more jump of 3 tenths is going to make us land on 1 and 2 tenths, which is the same as 12 tenths tenths. Yeah, you got that? Okay, so we are at one and two tenths, which is two tenths past our whole number of one, which is the same as 12 tenths, because remember we name it by our last uh, place value, so that's the tenths, so this could be 12 tenths or one and two tenths. Okay, so what is four times three tenths? That is one and two tenths. Okay, we said before that four groups of three is the same as 12 tenths. Does this number line confirm that? And how do you know? All right. Hopefully you see it there. And think about another way that you could check the answer. And that's going to be number one in your Ed Puzzle. How could you check this answer? Maybe you could use addition or you could use fractions, right? Think about how you could do that and do that in your Ed Puzzle. All right, so we have one more question, and let me see how I can clean this up here. Got to move. There we go. Move that around, and I think, yes, I do want to clear my work. Okay, so now I have another question for you, and that question is five times four hundredths. Okay, so now I have four hundredths. So this number line is not going to be suitable because this number line is only broken into tenths. So let's see if we can clean that up, make it a little more zoomed in. Hundredths, yeah, there we go. Okay, I know this is a pretty cool number line. 
It's at apps.mathlearningcenter.org if you want to check it out. Okay, now we have hundreds. Nice. And we're just going to use a purple pen and we're going to four hundreds five times, right? Because backwards and forwards, right? We can do them both. So we're going to go four hundredths. There's four hundredths. So that's one, right? We're looking for five of them. Four more would be eight hundredths. Four more would be one, two, three, four, right? Twelve hundredths. You see that? And then four more. It's just like whole numbers, right? Sixteen hundredths. And four more would be 20 hundredths, which is the same as two tenths. So we see that five times four hundredths is two tenths or 20 hundredths. Okay. Got how to use a number line to multiply decimals. Hopefully that's clear to you. If you have any questions, please ask and I'll see you on the next video. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you that what did the triangle say to the clock? Uh, sorry, the circle. What did the triangle say to the circle? The first um, part of that answer is your, your. Okay, bye.